Hello, Hello Floss Tube. Tube. We're, We're the, the Real Housewives of Crosstitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. This is Piper. Ronnie's laying around. <laughs> She's somewhere. <laughs> Where is she? Go in the other room. Okay. Well, we're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. We don't have the corgis. They went home on Monday. Uh, they got stuck in the airport in Arizona for over 24 hours. So that was an exciting day. They were supposed to go home Sunday morning, but they didn't go home till like Monday afternoon. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of quiet around here now. Hunter said he's never leaving the house again. <laughs> so that's how that went. Mm -hmm. The kitchen is being painted. I'm sure that if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you've seen that. On Wednesday, the doors are going to be delivered. So that part will all be done. The only thing that I'm still worried about is the mantle hood that's being built for over the stove where the microwave used to be. And hopefully I have someone that's doing it, but hopefully that gets done this week. Yeah. Anything else? What else should you do this week? Um, I've just been here watching work. <laughs> watching work. Yes. <laughs> uh, we had questions last week. So Charlene wanted to know, Priscilla, when you finish with Rick Rack, do you use one long piece for all four sides or do you cut a piece for each side? It depends. Sometimes I just do them like on the sides and crisscross it so that part of it shows up at the top because it's really hard to get it to curve and have it have as much sticking out on all the angles. So sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Yeah. Janice, where do you get the embroidery hoop you use for your cross stitching that looks like pipes? I love to cross stitch, but having trouble with my hands and thought they might help me. Uh, so I get, it's called a Q snap and they come in different sizes. I use the eight inch by eight inch because it fits all of my pieces. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't, I mean, I stitch mostly the smallest. Even if I were to stitch a big piece, I could use that and just fold over the part. Uh, but I get them from fatquartershop.com. They have all the sizes and it, it really has helped me. But I still use the sewing method instead of going through and coming back up. I just, I clamp it on two edges instead of all of them. Sharon, I am glad your house hunting was successful. Thank you. Now to plan your wedding. Do you have honeymoon ideas yet? And is Disney in your future? I don't have anything planned for Disney and we've been looking at honeymoon places. So yes, it's all in the works. Uh, Kathy wants to know, Priscilla, are you aware a Home Goods recently opened in McHenry? No, I was not. I thought they had one in McHenry. I mean, we've been to that. You know. Yeah, but maybe it was just a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx. Oh, we, I don't. I don't go out that way. When um, my son lived out that way, I would go occasionally. But in my normal travels, I'm mostly just in this area. That's west of me. And there's. A TJ Maxx and a Home Goods, and then if she goes to Kenosha by me, there's also a Marshalls. And then if you go to Vernon Hills, there's oh, yeah. a TJ Maxx and a Home Goods. So yeah. Uh, Jan, question for you, Chelsea. Why do you call your fiance Papa? That's what Cash calls him, so we just call him Papa. Sheila. Oh, she said, Chelsea, what's wrong with your earlobes? You pull at them a lot. Um, I got sick months ago. I didn't even realize I was doing it. So sorry that I'm doing it. Um, I got sick months and months ago and I hear that heartbeat tinnitus or something in my ears so I didn't know I was pulling it I'm sorry Jan are you able to share the size of your new series six by nine right that's the big piece and then a three inch yeah as we get closer so we're still focused on calendar crates right now as we get closer we are going to share the finishing piece the mm -hmm. all of it. right now we are i mean we're still engaged in calendar crates and we know that you're excited about the new month to month series and we are too but right now we are mm -hmm. and i haven't finalized it i have a couple of different things that i'm looking at so i have not finalized a finishing piece and as soon as i know that i will let you guys know yes i will pick something that you can hopefully Get. You know, like we did with the calendar crates, we made sure that it was something that you could get in the regular part of Hobby Lobby instead of a seasonal item. I'm like not able to keep my piece. Sorry. Shelly, would you please let me know what the name of the pattern is behind you that is in a, a white stand with a chick in a bowl? This. This is called Bunny Bakery. It's part of our Up on a Pedestal series. There's mm -hmm. Bunny Bakery, Queen Bee Bakery, Scarecrow Bakery. Um... There's one more. Barnyard, Barnyard Bakery and Mrs. Claus Bakery. And there's still, it's an ongoing series. Mm -hmm. 
Kathy, I live in the same area as your mother, so our weather is the same. I'm going to start tomato seeds indoors for the first time. What date do you start your seeds and what fertilizer do you use on seedlings? I would start them now. I used to start them in February, I think, so I would start them now. I'm still waiting on my order of some of my seeds, so I would have already started them. And fertilizer, you need to be very careful because you can burn your seedlings by using fertilizer. I used, and it smells if you're doing it indoors, but you just have to have good ventilation for the days that you do it. And I would look up online how often you're supposed to do it. Um, but I used, what is it called? Oh, fish. Fish. Emulsion. Fish emulsion, but it's a very diluted um, amount. Lainey, for the wreath swap, can you please have a camper or camping woodsy theme? We are now full-time RVers and would love to make you a part of our RV home. <laughs> okay, Kathy, Priscilla, there's lots of Kathy's and lots of Jans today that ask questions. Priscilla, can you remind me of what brand is any as you like? Seeds. What's the, what, what brand seeds do you like? Well, I like the California Giants, which you can get in a lot of different places. My My best growing seeds are the... The ones that I buy at our farm store, and you get a huge bag for... They're just regular zinnias, yeah, but, but where did you order giants. the fancy ones from? Um, the floor? No, I ordered from... I ordered from Park Seed. I ordered from Johnny's Seeds. I like those, like the Queen Lime, the Queen Orange, the Queen Lime Blush, all of those that have the different colors in them. But those are like $5 and you get like 20 seeds. So it's the nice. place at the the farm place, I gotta call them and find out if I can get some. But they, like you get a bag of, it's like a pound, I think, or mm -hmm. half a pound. It's a lot. For $15. <laughs> and that's why I can have so many. <laughs> D, I so love your bunnies and I love the name Cash. What is his middle name? Cash's middle name is Andrew. Suzanne, do you have a video on how to dye your fabrics? You use a white, dye it, the midnight blue, then you use coffee tea dye, and also how do you store your classic color work threads? Sorry, this is all new to me. Yes, we have a video on our channel of how to dye, and if you go to... Playlists. No, if you go to today's post on my blog, I, I, I left it there if you don't know how to get on to Wednesday. it on U YouTube. Yes, on Wednesday... On the post I did on my blog, I linked that video for dyeing because we did a fabric that's dyed for the tidbit that day. And we use evening blue or aquamarine. We've never used midnight blue. Um, denim blue we used to. We used denim blue, and it's just a flash in the pot. But again, it's all in that video. Um, you can follow that. For storing classic color works, we don't have the best storage system right now. We use these Tupperware shoe boxes is what I guess they're originally And mine for. are on rings by color. Yeah. Like all the reds are together on a ring, all the yellows. So when I need a red, I just pull out the whole ring and they're all there. Yeah. Jody, how do you clean your Pandora bracelets? There's a silver cloth that you can rub on it and it takes like all that black tarnish off of them. Mm -hmm. Susan and early garden question for Priscilla. How often will you be fertilizing your garden? Um, my pots I do once a week and then my regular, like I'll do it in the spring, all my hydrangeas and things. I'll probably do it twice in the spring. Lori, Priscilla, have you ever counted how many Pandora charms are on your bracelets or how much they all weigh? No, no. It's a lot. <laughs> she has a lot of charms and it weighs a lot. It's, I mean, probably a good five, seven pounds. Those are all the questions I, I have. that much. Maybe two pounds for all of it. It's a lot. That's Maybe not even that much. We had some releases this week on... I get to, to take them out of my shirt when I get dressed in the morning. Oh, there we go. On Wednesday, we released the next in the gar garden, which is Gertrude and Bernice. We started so with Gertrude's garden, and this was featured on Scarlet Sky Design's Pink House. This is Gertrude in her wheelbarrow. Then we had Tilly's trellis, the bunny featured on Stitch Etc.'s wooden block. And then this week we had uh, Gertrude and Bernice featured on a yellow house from Scarlet Sky Designs. So Gertrude has her watering can and they're watering a flower and there's a bee. It's very cute. Very springy. Yellow and white Chelsea's checks, black and white Chelsea's checks. Henry Glass said that they're shipping. Again. Yes. So maybe this time. Yes. 
we keep sharing posts and it's not right. <laughs> so, um, and then it's the, not our fault that we're just sharing their words. <laughs> Daisy trim is what from Hobby Lobby. Yes, you can get it at Hobby Lobby. Daisy trim. And this one had the beads. She made a bead flower and used a covered button. Somebody had asked if there's a covered button tutorial. It's in one of our it's probably in a finishing couple of, tutorials. Yes. So those are also under the tutorial playlist. So just mm -hmm. turn that on one day while you're stitching and take a gander. Yes. And then, first of all, Friday, yesterday, egg hunt. Then carrots for sale. This is on the Chantel's uh, one for one design company blackboard. You have to paint those. She painted them for us. And this is the spring snow globe. So that finishing piece I got at Hobby Lobby. And you can show them the tag maybe on the back. It is a five, six, seven, zero, nine, nine, seven. Wall decor, barnwood collection, 8.46 inches by 10.63 inches. Was there anything on it? Yes, it says um, self-serve pantry or There's something. There's like a black little frame in here and then it says something inside of it. But she used the new checks as well. Mm -hmm. Aqua and yellow. So cute. Shh. Shh. <laughs> My filming studio is being taken over. Um, that was my whips this week. Mm -hmm. That was my whips this week. Oh, and I finished the May calendar crate. Not calendar crate. I finished the May uh, re-swap that I had to do. Okay. So that is this right here? Yes. Let me see which, I think it's that way. So you've seen all of them that are featured in the re-swap now. Mm -hmm. uh, we have seen so many people starting Daisy May. I haven't seen any Jingle Bell Cafes yet. I've seen some Oh Hello Springs mm -hmm. and some of the wreaths. Mm -hmm. We're really mm -hmm. excited to see them. And somebody started on Farmhouse Quilts May Calendar Crate and here right away. Is the August re-swap. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, though. And then there's a small start on the calendar small. crate, June small. It's kind of sad to see it end, but th they'll get put up every year so we can all see them again, right? Yeah. New beginnings. Mm -hmm. But... When the month to month comes out, I'm sure I'll feel the same way and I'll be like, oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. So anyway. Okay. That was that. You have whips. Those were your whips. Um, what's in that box there? I don't know. That was my whips. I just showed you. Oh. Oh. This is our new thread pack from Fat Quarter Shop. Oh yeah. So we can give away a couple so of So it's days. called the Designer Select Classic Color Works Fancy Floss Pack. Uh, super excited. I think it was... Aren't they pretty? 21. But these are available at Fat Quarter Shop, and it's all classic color works. And we are excited that they put together a pack of our favorites. We had a pack before, but these are like our new favorites. <laughs> Revamped. <laughs> yes. Revamped. So... We're going to give away two of these today. I'm just trying uh, to see if I wrote myself I, notes. So there's been like a little bit of a lull on the 12 grain. You can't find it anywhere. And we just want to encourage you that, you know, we, you can use DMC. I, I mean, I know that. And for budget purposes, too, if you're stitching home, you can mm -hmm. use DMC. Mm -hmm. uh, 3865 is one that mom really likes to use mm -hmm. instead of 12 grain. Yes. If. if she or, needed to or, or whatever. Or you could go to Bamboo. Yeah, right. Whichever. Um, but we know that there's a little bit of a shortage on it. No, I think it takes five or six Yes, it games, takes six. But... And I think that we kind of cleaned them out. So. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so that was that. Then. But it's always fun, right? <laughs> yeah. I saw that Punch Needle said that the magazines would be coming back from the printer soon. So Yes, but the, if you get the digital, it's online, she said. Oh, perfect. So if you have the digital copy, you can... I think you get that no matter what, right? I have no idea. I think when you buy the regular, you get the digital too. So We don't know that for you, sure. You can get access to our Bucket Brigade Easter up there. Bucket Brigade. Um, okay, so we had... Do you want to go through giveaways from last week? Is that what we're on? Yes, unless 
there's things on the table that I'm forgetting. No, th we didn't have anything from, this is stuff okay. that you wrote thank you notes for. Okay, okay. And then this was your bags that you had to take. Okay. Um. No, I took mine. I think those are yours. No, I put mine in my bag. I put it by the door, so I remember to take it. Let's give away that St. Patrick's Day bag. Okay. This was from uh, Creative Carol, so we can use it as a giveaway. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Super cute. Okay, but we're not going through giveaways yet. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. And we didn't answer a question. We didn't ask a question last week. We forgot. Sorry. And I'm going to tell you what the question is right now. Give your store a shout out. Lots of stores brought back all the market goodies, and a lot of them had our market goodies. So yes, give I'm your excited. store a shout out below. And if they're a brick and mortar, say what city and state they're in. That's very helpful for people if they're traveling that they can find new shops. Road trips are starting. Well, maybe not because the gas. <laughs> we were at market, and someone came in in our booth, and their tag said Libertyville, Illinois, and. I was like, you have a shop in Libertyville? Because that's like two towns away. Yeah. It's and like they were 20. like, yes. And they were like, how do you not know? I said, well, <laughs> we don't know. We didn't know, but it's so good So there's to know. a shop in Libertyville now that carries our things if you're anywhere close in the area. All right. So last week we had Tilly's Trellis, three opportunities to win the PDF of Tilly's Trellis. And that goes to Michelle Ownby. Meredith Crane and Connie Tater, Tatar maybe, T-A-T-A-R. And then we had Carrots for Sale. PDF goes to Bethy Hendrickson. Gosh, where did it go? It's over there. Sherry Fennick and Louise Newberry. Somebody said we need to go get a massage and slow down so they can catch back up because they they fell behind. <laughs> uh, Reswap one, so you're gonna get the uh, printed copy of it. I'll mail it out to you. That goes to Cat G, Andy Harrell, and Claudia M. So make sure when you email me, you send me your physical address because I have to mail something to you. Then the May calendar crate is a physical copy as well. That goes to Earlene Flint, Margot McIntosh, Stitch Girl Patricia. As a side note, on the 15th, April calendar crate went in the uh, Etsy shop. So if you buy those digitally, and you can get that. the race swap for March. Yes. I couldn't remember what month we were in. Right. <laughs> I don't know what year it is. It's difficult. <laughs> Did we Oops. celebrate St. Patrick's Day already? Or is no, that... it's the 17th. Right. What day is today? <laughs> um, Daisy May is a... Um, yes. Printed copy as well. That goes to Teresa Ruddy, Toey Gale, and Norman Hansen. Then we had Oh Hello Spring. That goes to Sharon Young, Kelly Peters, and Penny Harrison. That is a physical, co physical copy as well. Jingle Bell Cafe, the market exclusive. That goes to Jane Bromley, Krista Williams, and Lindsay Z. Then from our friend Ellen Helms, she made bags. And I didn't open it up last week, I didn't realize, but she put in little project bags as well that you could store your floss in or what have you. Uh, they go to Crafty Andrea and Bonnie Deering. Thank you, Ellen. Then we had the pink silk floss. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Piper. <laughs> that goes to Maggie with an I. Then the Lori Holt stands. This is really helpful. Stitching stand, lots of pockets. You're able to put your pattern in. Goes to Angela Adams and Kara Thompson. Then from a viewer, we received two Jeanette Douglas patterns. It is uh, Sew Together number three and number one. And that goes to Julia Lance. And then we had so much fun seeing all of your St. Patrick's Day tier tray tidbits. Yes. Uh, thank you for participating. You get a $20 gift card to our Etsy shop. So just email me the $20 worth of patterns that you'd like to receive digitally and I will send them over or to you. Or if you need a hold until there's something in the shop that you need. Yep. Um, that goes to Beth Visek, V-I-S-A-K, Angie Reagan, Raquel, our friend Raquel, and Judy. All these people have hard last names. <laughs> P-O-C-I-A-S-K. Sorry for all the names I mispronounced congratulations and thank you for thank participating. you for participating everybody thank you for participating mm -hmm. again if we could pick you all we would thank you thank you thank you 
those were the giveaways for last week. Again, there was no question, but we enjoyed hearing all of your overwhelming comments about how well market went yes. and how you enjoyed hearing about it. So thank you. We mm -hmm. didn't know if you wanted to hear about it, if you didn't want to hear about it. What? Um, I saw a couple of questions, I think maybe on my Facebook page or my Instagram, of how like people who didn't have a store mm -hmm. went. So as far as we know, there was a term called press, I think, that you could use to try to get in, but I don't know how many people they let in with that. And um, we only saw a few people that had that. Yeah, you have different color badges, blue, green, red badges, mm -hmm. and that was the press badge, I think, it was the green. So the exhibitors all had red. Buyers had blue. Yes. We think, we lost our name tags. I have mine, mine's upstairs. I lost that with my brain, mashed potatoes. No, your your tag was still there. You lost the string that held it around your neck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure did. <laughs> um, we have giveaways this week. So the first one is the PDF for Pink. You know, Gertrude and Bernice. Gertrude and Bernice. That's number one. That's a tear trait. Oh, those black houses are really nice because they stand up by themselves. Full of themselves too. That's number one. Number two is three opportunities to win the PDF snowed in spring. <laughs> I, I told Chelsea, I said, I love these little ducks on the bottom. And she said, aren't those geese? <laughs> I, they remind me like, of mom's old wallpaper. I'm like, aren't those the same things? <laughs> Yeah, if you, if you look at pictures of my kitchen, zoom in on where the microwave used to be, you'll see the old wall. Yes, it's these. It's, it's these. <laughs> I thought ducks and geese were like Maybe the these same are thing. ducks. Maybe those are ducks. I mean, I had ducks that looked like this, but I, but I grew up thinking that they were geese. When I drew them, they were white ducks. So they're white ducks. <laughs> they're white ducks. Sorry. They're white ducks. We're not bringing back the geese. <laughs> we're not doing it. Oh, is the geese what was in the kitchen? I, that's what I'm saying. You always said, you remember my geese wallpaper, my goose wallpaper. I don't know. They're, or the little they're, gooses they're, you would put on on the porch with the little bonnet on and you could change his clothes and everything. I've had one of those. I know, but we saw them all the time at yes. at the craft shows. They were yes. a big ticket item, you know? Mm -hmm. Everybody would be walking around with their goose on their neck. Maybe it was a duck. I don't know, but they had bonnets. all those outfits for them. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you were one of those, do you still do it? I want to know. Um, <laughs> okay, that's number two. Number three, you put some. number three is going to be the Creative Carol bag. This is from Creative Carol Design. She's on Etsy. That's number three. Number four is from Kimberly and Team at Fat Quarter Shop. It's two opportunities to win our Designer Select Fancy Floss pack. They're awesome. Number five, uh, in honor of meeting Cecilia at Market, is. Birds and the Bees. That's number five. Number six from Fat Quarter Shop is four opportunities to win Hey Pumpkin to get started on your Fall Friday stitching because it'll be here before we know it. Number seven is three opportunities to win the Bonnie and Camille quilt book as well as the floss to do the cross stitch pattern that's in here as well. Seven, I think. That was number seven. And number eight is two opportunities to win some aura floss, prim aura floss. Number nine is 10 opportunities to pick a chart from our Etsy shop. Oh. We're ending on an uneven number. Deal with it. Okay, so the question is give your store a shout out yep. in the comments and, and then you list your numbers, <laughs> like the video, be a subscriber, and then answer that question. Also, if you would like, follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea356, Priscilla's2000 on Facebook, and Priscilla's2000.blogspot.com. That's my blog where I post like finishing information that you need or links to the video. So Wednesday details. has the di fabric dyeing. If you yes. want a shortcut to it, you can go to her blog. There, There is a different playlists on our YouTube channel though, where you can get to tutorials on finishing. And are those dye videos on their own or are they with the tutorials? They're with the tutorials. Okay. And They're then there's the like garden tutorials. tours, house tours, that kind of thing in the different playlists. Yes. Um, somebody asked me yesterday, do you have before pictures of your kitchen? Yeah. <laughs> She'll never show you now. No, no um, but it lives in infamy on every home tour. Yes. Um, 
April's retreat in Glen Ellen with Tomorrow's Heirlooms. If you've got your stuff, start stitching that. We want to see mm -hmm. it finished when you get there. Yes. Not fully finished, but stitching. Yes. Um, there, I think there's still spots open, so if you'd like to attend, you reach out to the girls mm -hmm. at Tomorrow's Heirlooms. They'd be happy to help you. You got a manicure? Mm -hmm. How long is that going to last? A day or two. Oh. Yesterday I had hot glue all over it, so. <laughs> so not long at all. Did you get your spray tan? No. Got her spray tan. She didn't want it. Um, okay, so Tomorrow's Heirlooms, you can reach out to them. Hello, Michael. He reached out. Remember we signed his pattern? He reached out to us, so hello, hello. <laughs> What else? Annabella's, they haven't released information yet, I don't think. So, I mean, as soon as we have that, we can share it on our social media. She might already have though enough people, I'm not sure, because she oh. said she had so many people interested before she posted details. So I'm not sure. We don't know. Okay. We we did get, go to the store. I forgot to show you guys. We went to the store. What store? Oh, we went to Lazy Dog with Cash on Saturday Ooh, after the video. Joanna Parker. And we went to Marshall's after. Is it home of course, with the dove eggs inside. In Vernon Hills. And got some puppy toys, got Cash a puzzle, and it has words that he can put together on it. And he, I mean, it was like 26 words, and he did them all that night. It was, he was really good at it. Um, what else did we do? He got us chocolate sundae. You get to make your own sundae in it. Oh my, I mean, like they give you this little cup of chocolate syrup and uh, just licking at it. It was, it was everywhere. It was everywhere. Mm -hmm. But it's fine. Uh, if you go to Lazy Dog, they have the best like mousse dessert and it has like waffle. Like, like crispy waffles. Or is it pancake? It's no, something. It's like waffle. Cris crispy waffle top like crumbles on. It, I think what it is is like a waffle ice cream cone crumbled up with mousse underneath and whipped cream. It's very good. But the lettuce wraps are to die for. It's very good. Oh yeah, I made mom's lettuce wraps this week too. All right, so I'll tomorrow's have, I'll heirlooms. I'll write that recipe down and put it on my blog because it's really good. Floss pack is uh, live on Fat Quarter Shop. I think that's it. And follow me on Instagram this week because I'm going away. So see where I go this weekend. All right. All right, thank you so much for joining us. We will see you. Did you do everything? I didn't even do anything. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. Um, did you say if you like my, if you follow us? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you get your finishing inspiration from us, tag us, tag my blog. We'd love to see your projects. And come join our Stitching with the Housewives group. We we have so many um, posts in there daily that you can see different. She moves her hands a lot. Different colors of fabric that people are stitching on and things like that. All the questions that you ask are pretty much answered there. Yes. So. Not all of them. There's questions. Uh, there's some questions that I just answer on the YouTube itself. Like, who are you marrying? And oh, I thought you were already married. So I just answer them in the YouTube questions. <laughs> are you marrying Cash's dad? No, been there, done that. <laughs> um, okay, so we appreciate you spending your time with us. Thank you. We will see you guys next week. Bye.